Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this session by K21 Academy. In this session on Data Science Future Scope, we shall have a look at everything we need to understand the scope of data science in future. Before we begin, let's have a look at the agenda for today's session. We shall begin with understanding the basics of data science and we shall explore what it means to be a data scientist. Followed by that, we shall learn about different data science job profiles and finally understand about the future scopes of data science. So without any further ado, let's get started with what is data science. Data science is the science of analyzing and organizing huge amounts of data. It is a combination of mathematics, programming, statistics, data analysis, and machine learning. When all of these are combined, Data science uses scientific methods and advanced algorithms to extract information and insights from both structured and unstructured data sets. Data science ensures that data is easily understandable and can be processed. With each passing year, the amount of data increases and adds on to the already enormous pile of data. This is when we realize that the time for normal analytical or BI tools has passed and there's only one way to make a difference and that is by moving towards data science. Data science today is being used across all parallels of various industries including business, healthcare, finance and education. And the experts who manage this enormous amount of data and work on data science are called data scientists. Now when we know about data science, let's have a look at who is a data scientist. As we know, data scientist is someone who works on data science. To elaborate this further, data scientists are professionals or experts who can manage and simplify big data through coding and algorithms. They can turn all that data into a problem solving solution for the business and generally have a great base in computer science, mathematics, statistics, modeling, and analytics blended with an overpowering business sense. If we talk in terms of jobs or demands of data scientists, then it is one of the most sought after career options for today's youth. From multinational companies to small startups, every organization requires a data scientist for proper usage of the huge amount of data it generates and stores. Hence, data scientist is one of the most demanding and highest paid jobs in the world today. Now, moving forward, as we know that the pile of data is going to increase exponentially with every passing day, jobs in this arena are coming up like never before. So moving on, let's have a look at the different data science job profiles. There are different designations of profiles that an organization hires for these days when they are looking for someone who can manage their data. There are majorly four different data science profiles. First being data scientist, then comes data analyst, followed by data engineer, and finally data architect. Let's have a look at each of them one after the another. The first and the most popular job profile is a data scientist. We have already learned a lot about data scientists. We know that a data scientist works in several domains from identifying project objectives to managing data. Data scientists have to understand the challenges of business and offer the best solutions using data analysis and data processing. They identify trends in data using machine learning and artificial intelligence. The day-to-day -day tasks include business exploration, structuring analytics, and data management. They have a deep knowledge about AI, ML, mathematics, and statistics. Data scientists are proficient in using software like Java, Hadoop, Python, and Pig. The next profile in our list is data analyst. They focus on the business and management needs of the team to attain project objectives. The main task of a data analyst includes the collection of relevant data and exploration of the data. They transform the data and analyze it to interpret patterns and trends. They also present the patterns of data to help the team translate the patterns into actionable items. Data analysts are experts 
when it comes to database management, data visualization, and data analytics. They must exhibit exceptional interpersonal skills with technical skills like programming, database management, data analytics, and data visualization tools. Apart from data analysts, there are business analysts too, who specialize in business intelligence and work with business models and their relevant technology. Similarly, there are financial analysts who are highly specialized in the areas of finance and work on building systematic trading models, strategies, and trading signals. Moving forward, the next job profile is data engineer. A data engineer keeps an eye on an organization's database and ensures security of that organization. He or she is responsible for developing and maintaining scalable data pipelines and building APIs to support the data repositories. They are expected to support data repositories by developing and maintaining pipelines. The data models have become diverse in nature and knowledge in data formats, big data technologies to populate data models has become a necessity. Also, a data engineer must have expertise in relational databases, backup procedures, and risk management. Moving forward, the last job profile in our list is data architect. Data architects convert the business requirements into technology requirements. They provide data management services for the enterprise at a strategic level while ensuring data quality, accessibility, and security. It is their responsibility to build and maintain an organization's database by identifying the layers of technology, the performance, and the database size requirements. They are the ones responsible for visualizing and designing the enterprise data management of an organization. They work very closely with data engineers to ensure that the data is being strategically used while ensuring performance, privacy, and security. Now, when we know about data science job profiles, we have reached the most awaited part of the video, that is, data science future scope. If we talk about the future scope of data science, we know by now that data science is one of the hottest professional fields at present. It's no surprise that professionals from various career streams are upskilling themselves to transition into the emerging field of data science. Data science is massively growing in different sectors like healthcare sector, transport sector, and e-commerce. There is always a huge requirement for such data scientists in all these sectors as they produce a lot of data and this data cannot be handled by any unprofessional candidate. There has been a huge growth of approximately 650% since 2012 in the data science sector. The World Economic Forum's Future of Work Report 2020 predicts that by 2025, a job with the highest demand and growth will be that of a data scientist. Data science has made normal lives easier by monitoring things, enhancing the quality of online shopping, enabling safe online fund transactions, and many more. Moving ahead in time, more and more sectors are going to implement data science realizing its positive impacts. So towards the end of this session, we have put down the learning path for design and implement data science solution on Azure, that is DP100. In this eight week learning path, we will take you from basics to the advanced level and eventually help you with CV preparation and interview questions. In the first week, we shall begin with Azure machine learning. And then in the second week, we will go to no code machine learning followed by in the third week we shall see running experiments and training models and working with data in the fourth week we shall see working with compute and orchestrating operations with pipelines in the fifth week we shall cover deploying and consuming models and training optimal models in the sixth week we shall see responsible machine learning and monitoring models Followed by in the seventh week, we shall see tips and resources for clearing certification and 100 plus sample exam questions. In the last week, that is the eighth week, we shall go through the process of CV preparation and different interview questions. We have a comprehensive training program that will consist of 
10 modules, 20 lessons, 20 hands-on lab, 100 plus exam questions, exam and CV preparation, and most importantly, on-job support. So, if you are interested in learning data science, I would like to invite you for a free class on Microsoft Azure Data Science. In the free class, we will begin from the very basics and go on to the advanced level. We shall begin with understanding why we learn AI, ML and data science. Then we shall get introduced to data science and what do data scientists actually do. We shall learn all of these with some brief examples and dive deep into supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. We shall also see what Azure ML is, learn about regression, classification and clustering. Finally, we shall see a demo to understand the machine learning methodology and end the free class with 20 hands-on labs that you must perform to clear Azure data scientist and to find job opportunities. If you are interested in this free class, you can go to the following link www.k21academy.com slash dp100 02. You can find the same link in the description below. This was all for today's session. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more from K21 Academy.